Hi, hi everyone. So nice to see everyone. So Freddie, we're all cosy. It's quite, you had your name, didn't you? It, it's quite chilly outside. We've had a little walk. We're all nice and cosy and warm inside in here. Um, let me just press that. Oh, there we are. You'll notice my lips are quite sore. Um, because I, I think the shock of it getting cold outside. Welcome to all you lovely replayers. So glad you can join us and be part of this, part of this today. It's really lovely. You can pop me on in the background or sit down and relax and do some gluing. Oh, there's Gail. Oh, you're back home. I take it all is well with the family. Gail and it's been lovely because you've been able to spend quite a bit of time with your lovely grandson as well as well haven't you it's so nice here comes Kimberly good morning Kimberly oh it's Kimberly and Dave I'm happy to see you too oh it's so lovely thank you oh so that and Becky W there you are Oh, bless you. And I hope your daughter's okay mm. this week, Becky. Oh, I'm doing I'm doing my knitting. It's what I I've been it's getting longer. <laughs> this is what I've been doing this week instead of crochet, just relaxing down a bit. <laughs> oh, there's lovely bear. Bear, how's your tooth? Or, or where the tooth was. How are you today? Good morning. If you are in this chat, good morning, early birds. That's all I can say. And there's Malaya, lovely Malaya, and your two lovely daughters. So nice to see you. Oh, soon be the, the school holidays, won't it, Malaya? I would imagine that you're getting everything ready. Oh. You got so excited you couldn't type. Oh, bless you, Kimberly. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh, Dar, good morning. There's Dar and Gracie. Hi. Do you know, last week when I streamed, it was just so lovely. And Melanie was here opposite me, wasn't she? And it was just, I just felt so relaxed with everybody. and. There's Gail Ann. Good morning. Oh, so nice to see you. <laughs> oh, and you're saying hi to young Freddie as well. <laughs> I just felt so relaxed last last week because, you know, the rest of the time I'm, I've got all, oh, let me turn, put my phone on silent. Yes. The, the, I've got phone calls coming in and organising this and that. And it was just lovely last week just to switch off. Miracle, the phone didn't ring or anything. It was just lovely just to have that two hours chatting with your friends, having you round. Come on in. Come on in, you come, Barbara. There's a seat for you just here. There's plenty room for everybody. You, Janet, you called your doctor. Your empty tooth is in pain and the doctor will call you back. Bless you, Bear. Yes. Are you still on the antibiotics as well? Oh, you keep in touch and let me know throughout the day how you're getting on. Yes. Marty, there you are. <laughs> Marty, who never gets cross with Janet, even when she messes up and shuts you out of a chat. <laughs> I appreciate that, Marty. Yeah, as I say, I, I'm i not able to, it's lovely. I'm, I'm so happy to be myself with you. I'm not saying I'm going to be super organized. As you can tell, my, my desk or the dining room table, if you want to call it that, uh, it's just the way I left it last week because I haven't been back, but I have been doing my sewing and my knitting and my crochet, taking it with me wherever I go. 
visiting my mum in hospital, and but she's home now, which is great news. Gail, oh Beth, so you know what it is to have the constant pain. It does, it saps your energy, doesn't it, Gail? It's gone on long enough. That's from Wednesday, isn't it? Beth, dear. And if we if Beth's here, we know Joe is in the background. Good morning, Joe. <laughs> There, there's Joe mocking my accent. Cheryl, dear, did I say good morning to you? I said good morning in my head. I didn't say it with my mouth, I don't think. Good morning. Hmm. I hope he comes back to you very soon, Beth. Yes, definitely. There's Sylvia. Oh, so nice to see you. Really nice to see you. And there's Anne, Anne, Anne. Thank you so much for the card. Anne sent me a wonderful sympathy card. Let me just show you. I love it. Beth singing. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Gail. Yes, yeah, last. I haven't even posted the happy mail from last weekend because the whole, I wasn't walking past the post office on the way to my mum's nursing home. I was going to the hospital. So my whole week changed yes mm. Marty that's exactly what I was thinking yes mm. glad you phoned the doctor back there mm. Joe <laughs> Joe's is Joe mocking me mocking my accent look at this wonderful card let me pop it up there it's one of those cards it's painty paper Thank you, Andy, I so appreciate it. And it's one of those cards where you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh, it's got some gold in it. And it's from the jelly printing maybe. And the texture and what did you use? Oh, I love it, on beautiful paper. So I treasure that, thank you very much. It's very kind of you, Anne. Barbara says, it's very chilly and there's a wind chill. But can you see my lips? Barbara, I don't know how. I mean, seriously, it's compared to you, it's not that cold here, really. I'm just making a big deal of the winter. <laughs> I've got my lips on now. It's not here. It's no use putting on prick stick, is it? <laughs> you're, you're out of the loop. Did some, something change with your parents? It did, Gail Ann, dear. Sorry, I didn't keep you up to date unfortunately um my dad passed away and my mum went into hospital as well but my mum's out now so yes yeah so it's really nice just to be here with you Gail just to have a little bit of normality <laughs> in, in my life it's cold in Bristol if you want to look up on the map where Bristol is in, in the UK, here's lovely Sue. Hi, Sue. Have you been doing any more um, sewing, Sue? Thank you, girl. I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> Vera just informed us that she wants a cat. Oh, a cat in a bottle, not a message in a bottle. Oh, aren't they funny? I remember the year Sam, no, or was it Ben? Was the, was the same age as Vera. And it might have been Sam. What he said he wanted was sellotape. He used to like to make bottle, models with boxes at that stage. No, he was definite. Wrote his list to Santa. He wanted sellotape. Cat in a bottle. They are so funny, aren't they, Malaya? <laughs> Precious times. And tiring times as well, Malaya. I know. <laughs> Right, let's see if I can pull this together <laughs> today. I've gone to my default, my no plans, really. One of my defaults is I happily sewing, slow stitching. Yeah, oh, well done there. You're sat wrapping presents. We'll keep you company. Can we keep you company while you wrap presents, Sue? 
Yes. <laughs> oh. One of my default settings is to make pockets and do some gluing as well. And sometimes I sit cross-legged on the bed when I'm staying at my auntie and uncle's in High Wycombe. So I'll be going back there tomorrow. And yeah, just gluing, getting magazines and just gluing. So I thought, I thought we'll, we'll do some of that together. If you're in the replay, if you're gently listening in the background, um, just do your own thing as well. <laughs> you might be busy wrapping Christmas presents or, yeah, just do your own thing. So let me, shall I say goodbye to Freddie for a minute? I'll bring you back to the desk just in case you want to see what I'm doing. It's nothing, nothing too technical, really. There's Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Are we all going into the shower with you, Rebecca? <laughs> oh, it's that time in the morning for you, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Cheryl, the coffee isn't working for you. It's not waking you up. Here's Ali. You want to see what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, thank you. Ali, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Ali's over here in England too. Sunny old, drizzly old England. Let me let me pop the camera down so say a little farewell to Freddie. Mm. You finished making Christmas cards. And I thought these would make nice Christmas card backing as well, because it's nice and nice and green with that bit of gold in as well. And then you put it's some form of is it rice paper or and wrote on there? Is that your own writing or did you print it off, um, dear? Hmm. Let me just, let me just put you down to the table here, if I can, if I can do it. Because you all know it's, sorry, making you dizzy. Little bit amateurish here. There you go, Let, I'm hanging the camera on an old iPad stand nothing too technical so you can still see Freddie you can't you don't have to put up with my chapped lips anymore <laughs> isn't it funny I, I'm with friends we don't mind do we speaking of showers mm. she got oh Barbara <laughs> how funny I'm gonna read it out just in case those people Sue's wrapping presents and can't read the chat. She once um, looked around a house with a real estate agent and she kept focusing on how many people could fit in the shower stall. Oh, how funny. <laughs> oh, you've got your Monday routine, haven't you? Oh, yes. Welcome to Mondays, everybody. It's if you're in here. In the live chat, it's really lovely. I enjoy starting the week off with you. I'm so glad to be. This is my new norm at the moment, is to come home for a little long weekend. I come home Friday night. So I've got Saturday. You printed the writing onto the rice paper. I love it, Anne. Really effective. Mm, thank you. And so I spend Saturday... Friday night, we have Friday night dinner, family dinner. And then I've got Saturday and Sunday with the boys, Monday with all of you. And then I go back to High Wycombe on a Tuesday. A strange selling point, says Dark. I know. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so this pocket, Gail Tuttle, Gail T. I think I got this from your channel. Am I right? Or did I get it from Never Hopeless by Elizabeth? I will look and pop some links in below. I think Gail, Gail T loves to do pockets and so do I. So get your sheet of paper, anything. And then you cut down this bit. This isn't rocket science, is it Gail T? Gail T. I've made some like that before. It was you because I think it was probably about a month ago. Oh, actually, time goes so quickly because of what's been happening. 
and I made a mental note because it's so much more simple than the one I used to make. I make them in bulk and then decorate them. So then I've got it like, oh goodness, what am I like? So then you fold this bit, or oh, let me put it in frame. Fold this one over like this here. And then this one nearly to the crease. If it's on the crease, it won't crease. It, I'm, I'm sure we've all done these before. But this is how I do them. I do them on old magazine paper, ones that haven't got pictures you want to use. So then you fold this one over to here. And then you fold this up. And then this here. Janice, is Janice here? Good morning, Janice, getting ready quietly there in... Um, for work oh really nice to see you if i miss you shout at me in um, capitals good morning karen so nice to see you oh come on in there's plenty room for everybody and it so it gives you two pockets and then you can glue you you can glue this really really simple let's try that again because I like to make them in bulk and you'll see in a minute, I just then cover them with painty papers and then pop in little bits of happy mail. <laughs> so let's find, oh, there's Carol. Good morning, Carol. Nice to see you. I'm loving Carol. I am, it's been a whole year since I've been following your, you've done a, cloth journal haven't you i think it's a scroll if i'm not mistaken in slow stitching and i have been admiring it i just got back onto instagram yesterday i managed to log myself out following your documenting your year in stitches that's really carol quite an achievement I think it's been a good distraction for you. And it's, it's sometimes that you've kept it simple, sometimes you've had more time. A repeat demonstration. <laughs> oh dear. Do you know, I have to have one half made up here because I just can't get my head around the simplest things, but that's natural. I think we just, in life, need to be kind to ourselves and if you feel like doing something complicated you just do something quite complicated and just join in just be with us here or gently listen in the background so then you cut cut it there and here always work it always work having a day Decoration, isn't it? Even on the simplest of things, if you're anything like me. And then fold this one here, not quite to the crease, so that opens up. Am I doing a good job, Gail T? <laughs> I will leave the link to your channel. And then fold this one this way, and then up. And you can use these in your journals or send them in happy now. Janet, yes, sometimes when it's it's less there isn't any will to do anything so you keep it simple yes that's yes i i think otherwise carol it's not a therapy is it if it's something you're beating yourself up about no i i totally i totally think you you you've got it right oh gail thank you coming from a teacher <laughs> oh gail bless you so yes i'm loving that i'm going to do it one more Fine. Oh, Cheryl, are you still there? Yes, you're there. Um, oh, you're getting some toast. Oh, if you're, if you missed this, uh, Cheryl, I loved the wonky heart you made last week. I love it. I really do. <laughs> With your slow stitching, really lovely. You don't know what what you're doing. You don't know what I'm doing. 
let me give another oh I didn't tear that out properly don't worry I won't waste it I'm making pockets for happy mail here or you didn't know what you were doing with the slow stitching oh well you did a, an amazing job that's the thing with slow stitching or this sort of random gluing ah oh, Janice thank you there is the link to Gal's channel and of course the link to the actual video I will put in later. Thank you, Janice. Look, Janice is getting ready for work, having her shower, <laughs> making herself look half decent. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Seriously, I, I just, I'm the same, Barbara. I, I have to, when I'm doing the crochet, Simple crochet because I've taught myself to crochet online. I had to keep winding it back, <laughs> winding it back. Oh, so yeah, fold it like that. Or you can use, obviously, you can use book pages or music paper. Or, but the reason I do mine is because this is for therapy, art therapy. I'm going to be sticking on it. Do you know? I think. I'm not doing it for demonstrations reasons. I think I actually get it now. Yes, fold it over there. And it's always good to keep one back. Some people have demonstration books or books of ideas. Hmm. I'm making pockets, Cheryl, dear. Hmm. Oh, thanks, Cheryl, for those thumbs. <laughs> You're ha having coffee and blowing your nose. You need to stop that. Yes. Oh, gosh. Yes. Oh, goodness me. Yes, because it's, uh, oh, dear. You're not getting enough sleep, Janice, do you? You'll be falling asleep over the computer later on at work. Bless you. Mm. Well, early night tonight, Janice. <laughs> Mummy says so. Mm. Janice. Oh, Gail, you've been crocheting since you were nine. Mm. Oh, and you still have to rip out rows of stitches from time to time. Oh, I know. And that's what Aunt Beck says. Aunt Beck says, don't be afraid of using this, the stitch picker. And you know when people say that sort of thing to you, you take it in. And because when I was making this, I'm still making this jacket. Things are here from when I left about two or three months ago. Um... I, I did, I get, got, I thought, oh, what Beck said, don't be afraid of using the stitch um, picker. So I, I did, I thought, well, if Becky makes mistakes, or oh, when I made the simple quilt for the children's hospital, yeah, I sewed it, you know, you have to put the facing bits together, I sewed it round, I've, I've done it wrong. I thought, no, Becky says, don't be afraid of using it. Mm. Oh. Mm. you've been working on a journal and you shared it in Beth's group oh I'll have to go and look at that I'm not as up to date as watching videos and I was just watching lovely Christina Shacks she was just doing some gentle gluing in a glue book so earlier on I was just listening to her yes I did have to do a little bit of ironing you have to do things that aren't phone calls and important things sometimes <laughs> hmm. you have to leave the chat for a while and you'll be back in 45 minutes though oh Gail Ann and I know that um Mondays is a busy a busy time for you too. And here is Ben coming into the chat. Good morning, Ben. <laughs> nice to see you. Ben's been busy editing photographs and videos, haven't you, from your trip? And ah, oh, you've done yeah, you've done an amazing job. When you get those up and running, Ben, I'll be able to show people one time. Will I? good I'll be able to direct them to a link so they can see what you've put together that'll be nice it's it do you think in some ways Ben it's easier to take the video but when you've got to come to editing it 
you've got so, you've got so much with so much going on when you were out there. I'm just sticking and gluing then. I've got my trusty glue stick here. Oh, I didn't like that glue I was using last week. And, and now I simply, so I have a pile of these and then I literally simply glue on them. This is, the, hold on, I've got this one folded wrong now. See, it, it doesn't take long for me to get discombobulated. That's fine. That one goes there, that goes there, that goes there. There we are. I think I've got it now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, nice to see Angie. You just popped in to say hello. Oh, Angie, I'm here and um, so lovely to see you. I'm not getting into many chats to say hi to you, but I'm still around and all being well, I'll usually be here on a Monday. Now, my life is sort of, I'm getting a routine to my life. Yes, yes. Oh, it's so nice to see you, Angie. I do hope you had another good sale at, um, at Keisha's. I didn't pop into that. I know because I had Janet USA was selling things, wasn't she? I, I did mean to, but if I'm not organising a lot of the time, I just... And have little rests. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, Marty. <laughs> and there's Aunt Bex. Aunt Bex, were your ears then? I was just saying about that was so helpful when you said, don't be afraid to use your seam ripper. That's what they're for. I found that so helpful when I, and I, I was thinking, well, Aunt Bex uses it, so I'm in good company as I having to undo lots of things. I've literally got napkins and painty paper in here from when we made, I made these out of Happy Mail envelopes, didn't I? And they store everything in, I piled those there. So I just reaching in and making some, sticking some, Papers, lovely yellow, and these seriously, it really isn't rocket science now. If you want to glue along with me, <laughs> just a little bit of gentle gluing. I thought that's what I needed, nothing too complicated. You're going to take some food over to the mother in law's, and you'll be back. Oh, bless you. It, I hope she's okay um, that you're delivering the food in the morning. That's so kind of you. Have you had your loaded oatmeal yet, um, Becky? Um, Becky, I saw your video this morning and that was lovely. I enjoyed it. And the other thing, we had a small glimpse of the tops you've been making and I'm looking forward to seeing ah oh, see already I've messed up we need to be able to get into the pockets there we are pop it there so is it so you can get down into this one oh no maybe not you get in from the top or the side oh you need to get in from the side I think yeah what am I like <laughs> oh Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing up more closely the wonderful Christmas tops you've made. I would really like to. Maybe next year I might be up to that. Mm. Let's put those there. Lovely. Mm. Oh, Vanessa, good morning. So nice to see you, Vanessa. And how are you? Always nice to see you. I am in some of the, I do hear the chatting that's going on and sometimes read it, but I just don't trust myself to type in because I'm sometimes a little bit too sleepy. I am enjoying watching some videos and 
keeping up with you. Look, I've just made, I'm just literally covering it. And look, I'm going to use some things that I've put on my desk. Let's have some snack time biscuits there. Um, going to have tornadoes, Angie. Gosh, it's raining cats and dogs with Angie. What's he doing here? Hold on. Oh, yeah, we were dry. It's not raining cats and dogs, but it, it's raining a little. <laughs> Nothing to write home about, then. Let's put some cookies here. This is a nice one because it, it this is this will go out as happy mail today because it's a reminder of our stream. We're just nice and cozy. We're going to have a little snack together later. <laughs> there we are. Do you have enough doggy beds for all those cats and dogs? It's raining. Beth says to Angie. <laughs> And I've got a little teapot and some chocolate chip biscuits here, or as you call them, cookies. <laughs> mm. Oh, goodness me. You'd take cats and dogs any day. Yeah, goodness me. It's so, so cold with you. Are you going out walking today? Um, are you poodling around the neighbourhood today, um, Barbara, dear? There we are. Just put a little bit of paper behind. This sort of thing is just so relaxing. And I'm... Oh, Karen, thank you. Thank you so much for popping in. You have a good day and a good week too. So nice to see you. Oh, I love it. It's lovely. I love it when friends pop by to say hi. <laughs> That's lovely. Good, safe week. Hmm. I had a teapot. Where did that go? Oh, here. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Those, it, those cats and dogs that were raining down, Angie. <laughs> you're, you're walking. <laughs> oh, it's very good for you. And it's nice because you can chat. You, 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 you're with a friend and you, you're chatting and walking. I did that today. I met up with um, friends, Stephen, Leslie, and they adore young Freddie. Who doesn't? <laughs> they adore him. If people adopt Freddie, they really do, and take, take him to their hearts. It's really lovely. <laughs> I'm just gathering the bits of paper from my desk and loving it. I'm hoovering up bits of paper. Don't put the flower upside down, Janet. I'm making a wonky heart because everything I make has to have a wonky heart. Oh, lovely. Thank you for joining me. And I'm so glad that you don't mind joining me just when I'm keeping things simple. <laughs> I appreciate it. Good morning, Mary. Nice to see you. And how nice it was to, to see the other day to see Mary's Christmas decorations. Um, that was on one of your videos. I think it was Friday nights, wasn't it? Friday night's video. I can share a link. You were making inches for Beth's card swap, weren't you? <laughs> so, yeah, got, got some lovely rick rack here. You've just come in time just to relax with me, Mary. It's Monday. I know you like to start the week gently. Because you do a lot of streaming, don't you? And there we are. Just adds a nice bit of texture. And you can always add some stitching or get the sewing machine out. But it's literally just a very simple pocket that I can add. Let me glue that down. Add some little bits of happy mail too. How lovely. 
and it's just like that and and then I take a glue stick I've got paper I've got an envelope of paper at my aunt and uncle's but you can just take that and a print stick and off you go you can even do that on the train or sitting waiting for an appointment there's candy good morning candy and it's i am i correct in saying that it's the last day of hanukkah today you'll be lighting a lighting a hanukkah candle this see the last hanukkah candle this evening and probably there's different foods i i hear for the different days so you'll be having something nice this evening how lovely so happy hanukkah to people it's a lovely festival of lights isn't it let's see have i got a little candle here let's light a little candle i'm particularly thinking no that was saturday night it ended at sundown see there we are. I thought it was seven days. I must have eight days. I just got my days muddled up. I do hope you had a lovely time. I go like that. My little cat got my little candle as well, Mary. <laughs> I'm lighting that candle. There's a little phrase on the moon. I'm lighting that candle. I'm thinking of a few people, keeping them in my heart. So I'm thinking about Papa. Lizzie's papa, he's having his operation on his knee on Wednesday. I'm thinking of Julie Parker, who I know from Beth and Tanya, and I know her from Fis Fibsville, Mary. Her mother died, sadly, and my heart goes out to, to Julie. So I'm sure there are lots of other people who we want to keep in our thoughts and our hearts and our prayers and our lovely Beth who's really got a lot of jit from that tooth haven't you Beth dear Beth yeah that is no fun at all hmm. last day of Hanukkah candles was last night Sunday however it's still Hanukkah till sundown tonight ah there you go right okie dokie Okie dokie. Well, have a wonderful time. Mm. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> there we are. I'm just putting three little wonky hearts on there. And then that's that's lovely. And I'll edge it with it's. It's literally how I make my postcards. Nothing too complicated. Mm. And I will do this. I'm going to pop, um, just pop a little gold border. Did you notice that, Mary? Just put a little gold. Oh, Mary, are you in your recliner? i doing your crochet. I loved your, it's a shawl you're making, isn't it? And I, I find that when I'm making the ponchos, because I'm on my second poncho now, the rows get that they nearly take, they get so big, it nearly takes up a whole ball of wool, doesn't it? Yeah, or yarn. Mm. Popping some gold on here. Mm. Oh, right. Well, I'm not sure, <laughs> Marty. There we are. There. There's some gold. I love that. Mm. Let's just use up that gold and just sort of put some in other places, just with my fingers. Mm. I like watching. Um, I like watching Sylvia. Sylvia D. She likes to paint with her fingers. I love that. Oh, while I remember, um, you do, that's your little routine. I've been crocheting on the trains, um, oh, knitting actually this week, knitting Mary, knitting, knitting a Christmas scarf um, on the train, sitting next to my mum in the hospital. 
I do like to have busy fingers, busy hands. <laughs> there we are. I've just generally put some gold on it. And that's a little pocket just to slip some happy mail in. <laughs> and some more to do for later. I have a little envelope here that I made up earlier, just with a square of paper. I, mean, I usually put these in my envelopes, so you literally just fold it into a square and then fold it like that, glue it down. And glue it down. And I'll just put some matching papers on that. And that's something I'll stuff in there. That acrylic paint should dry quite quickly. We have the heating on here. I'll just put some of that. Oh, the trains pass through. Do you know they do? And I, the other thing I heard you say, you don't even have um, a grocery store where you are. Do you, Mary? I love it when we hear we're listening to Mary and you hear the trains pass through. That's in the mornings. Mm. She does, doesn't she, Marty? And I find that very relaxing. And I love, I love hearing your voice, Sylvia, too. She, Hello, my lovely, she says. Something like that. Oh, wow. Janice has watched the Crossroads vid camera. The live feed, is it a live feed? In Mary's town and seeing it whiz through. Oh, how, what fun. Oh, what fun. I won't even waste those little bits. This is just paint, some of my painty paper. There we are. So what's everybody up to today? What, what's everybody doing today? What are your plans for the week? Looking for the blue. Hmm. Mary didn't even know about that. Yes, but we're talking about Janice. And Janice, oh, see what I'm doing. Can you see? I'm going like this thinking, oh, the ink's not coming out. Oh, dear, it must be drying up. Really? Really? For sake. <laughs> Take the top off, Janet. Oh, Angie, take care. So nice to see you. Mm. Janice knows that stuff. Laura used to call you Yoda. <laughs> Candy's teaching later. Yeah, sometimes you do the prompt games from Rebecca, don't you, with your children, and they, they look lovely. Just, just, just let's do a little bit of random stamping on here too. Mm. Gosh, so you've been to Mary's town. It's amazing. Just put some little snowflakes on there. You can't see it, but it adds a little bit of, can't see it much, but it adds a little bit of a, a layer and a texture. I usually swap round every week the stamps that I've got on my desk. So today I put out the snowflake one. But these were here from last week because I didn't use them. Oh, lovely. There you go. A snowflake for those that have got chilly weather. But of course, I know for you lovely replayers in New Zealand and Australia, uh, you're coming in summer, not winter. So I just make apologies. There we are. Just got some other little bits to it. So it's simple. <laughs> Heather, hello. So nice to see you. Really nice to see you. Right, let's clear the desk. Do you know, I pop that envelope in there. That's ready to put. I usually send postage stamps in the happy mail. I'll pop that in there. See that gold's dried already. Thanks, Kimberly. It would be, oh, and I did catch up with you on Twitter. I finally managed to get home and sort Twitter out on my phone. <laughs> I 
you um you've done a similar thing not with the ink pad you've done it with youtube you you're just staring waiting for the video to start and you haven't pressed go i think i think we all do that you're waiting for the oven to warm up and you haven't even turned the oven on i mean really <laughs> i know oh dear <laughs> it was you made you created a happy page <laughs> right what's i thinking i had just had a little brain wave here let's see if we can make one out of fabric yes let's see and we'll make it up and we you could either glue it with fabric or you could do some slow stitching i think now you know I don't call things unfinished projects. I there's Janet USA. Hi Janet USA. <laughs> Two Janets in the house now. Come on in, Janet. Now, did you sleep better last night, Janet dear? Because Janet hasn't been sleeping very well. Come on in. Come on in and come on in and have a rest with us. And this is come come. Welcome to my messy desk, as Alison says on AJ's Inspired Life. I'm going to trace. I'm not going to undo that because I get a little bit confused. Janet, I'm making pockets, simple pockets, simples, nothing rocket sciencey. And I got the idea from lovely Gail T. The link will be below. Um, Janet, Janet USA. Oh, um, Janice, so nice to see you. Have a good week at work. Yeah, so nice to see you. So nice to see you, Janice. Oh, you're relaxing with a nice cup of coffee and you finally had a good rest. Oh, that is really good news, Janet, you would say. Oh, really good because you haven't been sleeping that well well that's really good news mm. right let's cut out of the rough shape here let me get my Kathy D little travel pouch with me oh yes when you've had your surgery you can do that can't you that's is that it, Correct me if I'm wrong, is that on the 28th of December, um, Candy, dear? I, I seem to have that date in my head. Seem to have that. Do you know, this is such a lovely time for me. Because you know when you're going through bad patches, it is, it is hard to... You have to be disciplined to stop doing little jobs and bits because there's so many bits of administration that need doing to um, this is so oh I just I distract myself. This this material is from lovely Christy Biddleson when she sent me my gorgeous that I'm using here, my gorgeous journal. Um, it was wrapped in this material because it's batik, it's both sides. I love it when a plan comes together. Mm. There's Sophia. Oh, Sophia, good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, how lovely to have a friend come over all the way from India. Oh, so nice to see you, Sophia. I do hope you and the family are keeping well. Ah, oh, I do often think about you because I have so much of your lovely fabric. Let me just show you, Sophia, while you're here, dear. Oh, so nice to see you. Isn't that lovely? I love our worldwide community. This, Sophia, do you recognise this fabric? It's some of your sari fabric some of your indian fabric isn't it gorgeous this is a lizzie brewer idea i made a sleeping bag for my journal isn't it lovely 
lovely fabric. This is the inside and the outside of the fabric. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You sell your fabric on Facebook, don't you? Oh, and on YouTube. Mm. I will leave a link below for those of you who don't haven't met Sophia before. And if I forget links, just message me and say, Janet, you said you'd leave a link and you didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. I think it's quite nice for you to see sometimes what people make. <coughs> oh, lovely. From the fabric that, that you send. There we are. So let me get this back in. So what you have to do with fabric, or if you've got your little mini iron there, if you were lovely Lizzie, she'd have a mini iron, but I haven't. So what we're going to do is finger press. <laughs> so, oh, yes, what I was saying. Well, Janet, dear, Janet USA, I've been doing the simple pockets from the sheet, just the one sheet of paper, like this, fold it over there, and that one up. I can demonstrate again, um, lovely Janet USA. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna see if I can make one from fabric. That's what I'm up to. <laughs> And yeah, what was I saying? Oh yes, I don't call my projects unfinished projects. Um, all the time, I'm constantly setting up new projects because I, I just don't know how I'm going to feel. And I like to use the, I like to use my art as a therapy. So if I've just got things that I can pick up and go around the house or Thank goodness I had some projects up and running to go to my parents. Yeah. And I like to swap the projects I'm doing too. There we are. So I just got this fabric out and it just turns out that batik is both sides. I'm loving that. So I'm finger pressing like that. So can I see that line? I've got my lovely scissors from my... Brooks slow stitch to go kit here. I'm going to snip across there like I would the paper, but this is fabric. And now I'm setting myself up for this week. I can slow stitch on here. Amazing. Oh, Deb. Well, have another coffee. We'll keep you company and maybe you'll gather the mental and physical energy to decorate your Christmas tree. <laughs> Sophia, that's lovely. You, you be a gentle listener. I've been a gentle listener so much um, during the last, how long have I been away? Is it eight weeks? Yes. Um, a lot, I've done a lot of gentle listening. Mm, sometimes you're too tired. A fabric pocket, Gail. I know. And these, these are this fabric here is to continue with my make a simple quilt. <laughs> Don't be daunted. Make a simple quilt. So then, what you do? So you've got this little one here, this little one here. Fold that over. And then fold that up there and that there. Lovely. And then I can slow stitch this during the week. I mean, it's light saturated, so it's not easy for you to see that it's purple. Isn't that lovely? And so let me show you how I set up for the week. I'm actually coming back though Thursday night. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> Thanks, Janet USA. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm actually coming back late Thursday night. 
because I've got someone coming to mend the boiler because it's not working very well. Um, someone coming to mend the boiler on Friday. So that's happening. And <laughs> thanks, Barbara D and Sylvia. And also, it's a hashtag time for art. And I've missed out on a few of those. And it's lovely to be back and able to, I'm going to tip this out. This is what my Auntie Jennifer made me. If you haven't seen it before, I'll just lift it up. It's exquisitely made. Very neat. Very talented. Mm. So, yes, it's a hashtag time for art. Mary will start it off at six. I think I'm next. And then um, we'll be hashtag time for art inspiration all day. It starts again in the evening. I'm looking forward to it. I also, I've also got some lovely hearts that I got from Keisha's sale because our lovely. Oh, that green is nice. Our lovely, oh gosh, that's nice. Angie makes those. So what I do, because you can't take everything with you, I will snip a few things to go in here and take this with me. That's lovely. Actually, I don't think there is anything else in there that I want for the minute. That's the ribbon buttons. Hmm. I'll pop that all back, actually. And I've got snippets of fabric. I've got snippets of fabric there. My owl box is there. There's the lovely Mrs. Gigi. Are we saying hello? Yes. We are. Sorry, I missed you. I got so involved with all the ribbon, lovely ribbons in there. I missed you coming in. Mm. It's called the Holiday Hop. And Mary has already created a list and done an introductory video. I will pop that in the link below. Some people might be making prep videos, but um, we can, the ideas in the hop will be, some will be simple and others will be more complicated. But there we are. So, Oh, and there's buttons. I will take my lovely little flat buttons there with me. So I'm going to pop that there. I've got some thread. I've got the pocket. And so I'm all set to make fabric pockets this week. So I'll put that with my knitting. That's lovely. Oh, gosh. How does an hour go by so quickly? Purple hearts from lovely um, Mrs. G. How nice. It's time for snacks. Goodness me. How does time go that quickly? Time goes quickly when you've got friends around and you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, yes. She, um. Mary is like Santa, isn't she? She's Mary's um, making a list. Yeah, checking it twice. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, right, lovely. I oh chamomile tea, chamomile tea paper, not a problem. Freddie is exhausted. He hasn't even noticed that it's snack time, has he? Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, Mary, you did the one the for your Christmas holiday idea. You did the um, ornament where you dyed matchsticks and made like a lovely little frame round. You were using, you were doing craft ideas from your childhood. I loved that idea. Mm, December the tenth, this Friday. You heard it here. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. <laughs> Mmm, list. Mary might, likes making lists, don't you? Mmm. Yes, Freddy, it's snack time. <laughs> Where's the young Freddy? Should we do his first? Let's do his first. Has the camera gone a bit fuzzy? 
or is it okay? Is it in focus? I don't know whether it knows what to focus on. Would you like one of these sausages? Like, because oh, look at him, look at his lips. Mmm, he says. These are fun joy, aren't they? Wow, there you go, young man. Look at it, he's got half sat on the chair and his feet there. Cheeky monkey, let me wash my hands from that dog sausage. <laughs> it's going to be a busy week. <laughs> oh, little matchstick girl. Mm. Yes, that is a wonderful story, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Mm. There we are. I've got my chamomile tea. I know, dear Freddie. And Kimberly says, ooh, ooh, Kimberly's, I love it. She's running off to get her snack. <laughs> I haven't been baking. I did make a nice savoury dinner because we're still getting our veg box. Sam didn't want it cancelled. So we we had some lovely things. There's some lovely purple carrots. And I, I made this sort of aubergine mincy sort of look. You want to you want to take it out 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 to another room to eat because it's a very prized treat. It's a very nice one, isn't it? You want to take it into the other room. That's fair enough. Fair enough, young friend. Fair enough. <laughs> young Padua. Mm. Candy's lurking. You're gonna make. You're making breakfast for you and you and the hubby. Candy, you have a good day. Enjoy your teaching. But I know you're here in the background too. Look at this gorgeous tin. I was given this at the weekend, and it's for, It's from Fortnum and Mason. How do you spell that? Fortnum, F-O-R-T, N-U-M, and Mason. Mason, if you look that up on the internet, that's my dishwasher you can hear. If you, my camera is sort of blurry, isn't it? I think as it sorted itself out now, because I lifted, I lifted the biscuit tin up to it and it sorted it, it rebooted it, didn't it? Thanks, child dear. I thought that, bless you. It, I think that's better now, isn't it? Um, let me know if it's not, yeah. But this biscuits, sorry to be, if you're gently relaxing and going to sleep in the background, which is what I do, I have to put Rebecca and Beth on to help me get to sleep. I do listen to them, their replays normally as well, <laughs> and take mental note. But... Um, I do like to listen to their videos to relax. So if you're trying to relax and I'm crinkling this, I just apologise. Isn't it a gorgeous tin, Sophia? Such a lovely colour. I love tea. And I and it's got lovely coloured cardboard. And Sam said to me, he knows us too well. He says, oh, that's a lovely colour, Mum. Are you going to use save that card? And I said, yes. <laughs> he knows us. <laughs> Is that better now, Cherry? Dear? So, yeah, a, a lovely selection of cookies here. I think I'm going to choose the lemon one because I didn't try that yesterday. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, very nice. Mummy's got biscuits ready too. Mmm, you're not the only one who has treats. Kimberly, you back with your treats now. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Oh, it's lovely. Mmm, very nice. It's always nice to have a little snack. Oh, look, is Freddie going to leave us now? Come and sit back up and join everybody, Freddie. Yeah. Hmm. People love to see you. I've got my Christmas mug, but that's not new. Mm -hmm. I have that even in the summer. Oh, you having to take a drink after? Is it is it a bit salty that sausage? Mm. Coffee and yogurt. Oh, Kimberly, you're going for the healthy choice. Well done. Mm. 
Oh gosh, that did make me thirsty. Let me show you a few bits while we're having our while we're having our snack time. Mm. Mm. Take another. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I didn't show you this last week. I forgot. Look at this wonderful bag. Oh, sit, Freddie. Come and sit. Come and sit up with us again. Keep us company, Freddie dear. Mm -hmm. Come. Don't get comfy because you're tired. Come and sit up because there's no more treats. Come and sit up here. Look. That's it. There you go. Then people can see you then. I would like to see you, young Freddy. <laughs> there he is. There he is, little fella. Guess who made me this? It comes all the way from the States. Laurie Paint Girlie. Isn't it gorgeous? Mmm. Now, what would make a gorgeous bangle bracelet? Mmm. Oh, do you mean the metal? That would be very clever, Deb. Let me know. Hmm. I know it is. It is gorgeous, isn't it? It's a gorgeous tin, um, Cheryl. Look up the shop online, Fortnum and Masons. It's a beautiful shop. It's not the sort of shop that I'm sure. It's a small department store in London, but it is quite high end. Yes, the metal. Oh, Deb. Deb is just one of these so talented people. Oh, wow. I lived nearer. And um, I would send you the tin, but obviously we live across the pond from one another. So, so uh, I think this is an amazing, amazing bag. And I'm going to use it for my latest, well, I have. I have lots of projects on the go, but I'm going to use it for my latest knitting projects. Isn't that gorgeous? That can travel with me in my bag. I love it. Thank you, Laurie Paint Girlie. Laurie Paint Girl last week was in France, so I'm not quite sure where she is now. Hmm. Hmm. Last week as well. I think Melanie was here and we were just we were just having so much fun I just forgot to show you and I thought oh, I must remember I actually finished because this is what I was doing when I was with my mum and dad I decided Auntie Jennifer gave me this material and I cut out the leaves and I ironed some interfacing on them and then I just did a a blanket stitch round that was one of the pumpkins we've made so that's my autumn block so this is my make a quilt. Mm. Oh, Roy is here. Roy, nice to see you. So nice to see you. Oh, I'm just showing my my first ever, well, I made the little one for the hospital. And this is my first one I'm making for myself. So there we are. Yeah, I'll pop that up there. So I put some finishing touches to there. Not because I needed to, but just because it was just so nice to, it was just a nice thing to do. Oh, there's Alison from AJ's Inspired Life. Alison, you're not the only one with a messy desk. <laughs> Welcome to my messy desk. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know. And then, what have I got here? I got some happy mail from Jean Bainey. Jean, Jean may not be here now, but might be on the replay. So I'm just going to show, she gave me some happy mail. And it's lovely. I've got some little bits of fabric. Oh, I'll take those with me. Let me just put them there. And they can go on a slow stitch project. <laughs> Jan, this is video. You sent her a cluster. Oh, has she showed it already, Cheryl? Is it because I usually watch um, Lizzie's videos? Oh, how nice. That was lovely. And it was lovely that it arrived to her. How wonderful. 
And some lovely happy mail and bits of ephemera from Jean here. And she sent me this gorgeous vintage postcard. I got it upside down. No, I haven't. And it's from the Japanese tea garden in San Francisco. And I know when I was doing my Japanese journal that Jean Bainey was shared with me that she had many a happy family to visit to the tea gardens in San Francisco. And she also, because it was during lockdown, she got herself a jigsaw with it on. So I thank you, Jean. I really appreciate that. Just nipping over here to my shelf. Hold on. And just, you can always, a journal I don't think is ever finished, is it? I don't think we ever finish things. Let me see. Does it help if I turn that light off for a minute? Is that better? It's, it's very light saturated. Let me know. Oh, I know. It is a lovely group of people, isn't it? <laughs> here's my young, um, here's my lovely Japanese journal. And they're things people have sent me from all over the world. And I'm going to slot in this card, but I actually need mm, to write Jean. Jean's name here as well. But I think I would remember the San Francisco Japanese garden link. Ah, and I've actually written in here actually to remind me about Jean visiting the garden. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Roy says your kitchen will never be finished. You're on your 10th year of what should have been a six month project. Oops, I know. It's hard, isn't it? Well, you're probably always thinking, oh, I want to sew. I want to, yeah, do this and that. Cheryl's dropping in a link there. How wonderful. What's the link for um, Cheryl, dear? I'm going to turn that light on just in case I don't want it to be too dark. Right. Oh, what else did I want to show you? So, what else have I been up to? I finished off this sitting next to my mum, with my mum. I think I finished that last week and then I nearly got this and I'm going to sew the pocket on and that will be done. And where you sew the heart on, you're left with a bit of sewing. I've made that into the heart. And when I sew Xena's on, it left me there. Oh, Lizzie made beautiful Christmas ornaments. Thank you for sharing that link. Maybe I missed that one. So I will, I will. But I'm, I know Lizzie did lovely scrappy small trees that were gorgeous I don't know Elizabeth Gibson Roy no I haven't heard of her is that somebody that streams so because you tack that on it shows some stitches so I just put another little thing there so maybe I will be doing some sewing and that that page then will be ready i also got a little card from netty get stitching <laughs> oh not get stitching great stitching says becky oh thank you becky that's so kind of you thanks <laughs> it's just been pure therapy yeah not something you need to do something you want to do and you just do it for no reason <laughs> she's a crafting friend on youtube but you haven't seen her for a while no i haven't heard of her um roy dear anybody else and this is a card from lovely netty i wonder whether it was a stamp and she painted it or a napkin lovely layers of homemade paper and Gorgeous, a little gnome with a piglet, absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Mm. 
That's amazing. So there we are. I'll pop that there. And the other thing I had to, oh, that was from, that was from Jean. That lovely flowers. How lovely. That there, and I'm going to put, that will go on there. That was from Jean. And look, I had a lovely sympathy card from lovely Becky W. Becky W's in the chat. <laughs> and inside were some lovely words and some gorgeous, gorgeous tatting or lace. Gorgeous. You can see, Becky, that's going to travel with me. I'm going to put that there. And look at this, a little acorn. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I love the simplicity of the happy mail. I loved the, that you were sending me a seed from a mighty, from a small acorn, a mighty oak tree grows. I thought it was very like symbolic -y, if, if symbolic -y is a word. And she said, use it in whichever project you like. And this is the project I was making. I think it was the week my dad was ill in hospital, maybe. And it's a very special project that's going to go in my. I'm just looking for. I'm looking for a pin now. Um, that's going to go in my slow stitch journal. And. Yes, I can clip it with one of these. I shall see. I set myself up. This isn't traveling with me. So thank you, Becky W. Hmm. Gail's made it back. <laughs> Welcome back, Gail. Have a little breather because I know you dash around on a Monday morning. There we are. It's going to. You you've got a lovely miniature zigzag feature on your machine. I got a feeling Becky W isn't in the chat at the moment um I will I will message her thank her again that looks gorgeous there I found just the right place for it so I'm setting myself up here for next time I'm home on Friday or Saturday that's my sewing to do thank you Wow, it's just about that time of the day, isn't it? Well, we, we it'd be nice. There's Becky W. I'm glad you liked it, like the acorn. It was just made on a whim while doing some other sewing. That's the best way, isn't it? Yeah, the little you have little pieces. Just see what you can make from just little pieces. And I love that feature on your machine. Gorgeous. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Becky. <laughs> Shall we do some prompts? Mm. You're nice and clean. We've been in the shower. We're all nice and clean. Ooh, yellow lace. I think that was from Becky. That's going in there. It was all neat, and I, I, I'm just throwing it all in now. <laughs> Rebecca's squeaky clean now. Are you streaming later on? Um, Rebecca, or do you have Mondays off? I can't remember. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. It is, and that, it's a very special piece of um, sewing. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. Special to me. Yeah. Hmm. Barbara, it's special, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just made, yeah, it made me think about, I usually do wonky hearts or I do mushrooms. But, um, yeah, let's try and think of some other small things that we could maybe slow stitch or collage like that. Mm. I'll be, that certainly inspired me. Dixie, hi, welcome to the live. Oh, so nice to see you. And I see that you join. Whose chat have I seen you in? I've seen you in Beth, but at the moment I'm not joining in chat because it's a bit late and my fingers fumble around the keyboard. But I, a lot of the time I'm there. 
Mm. Oh, you, oh, yes, pictures yesterday. I haven't been on Facebook much, but I saw your desk. You cleaned the floor. But in cleaning the floor, the desk got messy. Yeah. I'm, by the way, I'm not looking at some the prompts I'm picking out. I'm picking out six. <laughs> six prompts. Now, you can do the prompts if you like. Is that six? Let's have a look. Do a journal page. Sit back and relax. Or, you know. Hmm. Yes, good. I'm glad we all enjoy Beth's lives too. One, two, three, four, five, six. And but it's also um yeah, I can't read that. I've written something down here and I can't read the prompt. Hmm, I must have known that's really weird. I'm going to pick another one because I literally can't read my own writing. How funny is that? I'll pick another one for the first one. Is that cheating? We can cheat. There are no rules. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That's interesting. I haven't put a background on my... I'm going to just make a, another postcard because I'm enjoying sending postcards to people. They're lovely and simple to, to send, especially just in case they go abroad. Shall I put a backing on this? Let me just, I'm going to, already I'm doing my own thing. There we are. I'm just going to put a little backing on. First prompt isn't put a backing on. The first prompt is, let it snow. La 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 Is that let it snow? Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> it is. I just think because last week I didn't put any backing on the postcard and it, they were sometimes my prompts can be a bit random, can't they? Hmm. Prompt number one is let it snow, and that's perfect. And if for my lovely people that watch me, um, Jude, Sandra, Christy, on the other side of the world, if you don't want to let it snow, pop up a sun umbrella. <laughs> Do your own thing. Oh, you stepped away to help Pierre. We're doing our prompt game, Cheryl. Now, last week, Mary did. You did the doodling, didn't you? You had a little notebook and you did the doodling. I thought that was really lovely. If you're just relaxing, just um, back in your chair. You don't have to run around and get ink and paint. How lovely just to, to draw. Draw the prompts, use them as prompt drawers. Lovely. So let's just trim that off. That's my back end. And I'm going to oh, let it snow. How lovely. Now, I haven't, because I've been away, I haven't got any Christmas things down here. Apart from that Tesco magazine. My one magazine, Tesco's. Where are you? I was using you earlier, Tesco's. Of course, the desk just gets in the right state. Up oh, here we are, leaning over. <laughs> oh, doodling, you're doodling. <laughs> you don't have snow where you are, Cheryl. You haven't seen snow for a, a few years. We don't often have snow here. Um, so I, I'm just going to see if there's a little snowy picture here and if there isn't I've got my snowy um stamp that I was using that I'm quite happy to use but if there's a snowy picture it's really windy with you temperatures are falling you may get snow well you wrap up oh look I love these gingerbread men with snowdrops on 
Mm, they're nice. Gingerbread boxes. Wow. They're gorgeous. Let it snow. Let me see. Oh, I might use that. Oh, I think that's the. Ooh. Oh, lovely snowy on there. Oh, I've got choices. It's amazing what you can get from a free magazine, isn't that? I think. Oh, they're lovely. I think I might use one of these little snowmen. Mm. You've got lots to share. It's funny, isn't it? When you when you haven't got it, I know. We're we're always dreaming of a white Christmas here in the southeast of England. Mm. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Mm -hmm. There you go. My little my little gingerbread men snowflake song. It'll build up, but there's only six prompts, so it doesn't build up that much. Maybe I'll do the little lady gingerbread gingerbread lady as well. There we are. Frosted, icing, snowflakey. Aren't those gingerbread houses? I'm sure if I made gingerbread, it'd be a bit more wobbly than that. Mm. Oh, hi, Dawn. Nice to see you. How's lovely West? Oh, you've got snow where you are. You've been out in the snow with West, have you? Oh, so nice to see you. Oh, come on in. Oh, good afternoon, Dawn. And good afternoon or morning, wherever you are in the world. To so the people that are gently listening in the background, you're such an important part of this today. And I know that because I've been a gentle listener in so many streams. I really have, and I really appreciate it. I'm going to do them holding hands. Oh, so lovely. And I will send this one off today, but... Um, hmm. <laughs> there we are. Sometimes I remember names, girl, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> West is so lively. Dawn used to do a lot of crafting, but then since you had West, your dog, you don't get you don't get as much chance, do you? I'm going to put some snowdrops in the background, snowflakes in the background here. Let's see if I can get it right this time. I may as well, seeing as I've got it out. Mm. Oh yes, Janet's popped the link in for. Um, Mary's hashtag time for art live hop this Friday yeah oh that'd be lovely and I look forward to watching all the videos and I look forward to joining in with my simple holiday craft I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet I get home late Thursday night and we'll just see what we feel like doing. I'm keeping it real. <laughs> craft room has cobwebs in. Oh, I know. Can, are you able to bring some of your craft out of the craft room to do in, in the house? Um, oh, brown paper. Add brown paper. Mm. Right. Let me see. Have I got any brown? Oh, it could be brown paper as in a paper bag or a parcel bag, or it could be brown plenty paper. Oh, how interesting. Brown paper. I know I have some in the recycling. I've got a lovely brown bag in the recycling. I'm just going to go and get that.
Oh, I love a brown paper bag. Ooh, yes. Lovely. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just screwing this up. Oh, lovely. Oh, there we are. I knew when I put this in the recycling bag, I think it had tomatoes in it in our veg box. Mm. There we are. Oh, let's put some lovely paint on that. Lovely. I'm scraping paint. That scraping paint, I, I, I put a few prompts in. I wonder if it'll come up because I know that um, you like scraping paint, don't you? Yay, brown paper, says Sylvia. Yay. <laughs> mm, I love this sort of thing when you don't know... You don't know what you're doing. You're just, oh, so relaxing just to go with the flow of life, isn't it? I still don't know what I'm going to do with this brown paper. I was just so chuffed when that came up. So I thought, oh, I'm going to bag out of the recycling. Mm. that off of there oh lovely really nice i can um this is a small postcard but i will use this oh i should have sent this paint scraper to um i might take the paint off that oh look at that that would be perfect to send to mrs chi chi she's doing a paddington journal isn't she Let's scrape the paint off there. Yeah, I'll put that in a little envelope. It's not a valid token, it's just isn't that lovely. I will send that to Mrs. Gigi. <laughs> One craft on your list to do is the brown, brown paper bag faux leather look. Oh, yes, so effective. Yes, you can use the ink on it, can't you? And it's gorgeous like that. Yeah. Mm. It does. Mm. Makes a nice cover, doesn't it? Probably need the brown stays on ink for that. But yeah, very effective. Mm. Mm. There we are. Right, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm just going to rip it now. You might have parcel paper as well. And then that is glorious. I get to use that. Oh, I'm literally just going to rip it up. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. It just feels nice to rip it up. <laughs> oh, there's Malaya. Oh, if you do it with shoe polish, nothing sticks to it. Oh, yeah, because shoe polish is waxy. Yeah, you. Um, I've used stays on ink when I've um, done that before. Yeah. Good point um, there. Um, oh, Sam and I watched this program called Victorian Farm. I can leave a link for that as well. Gosh, I hope I remember all these links, I keep saying. Um, and they were making homemade shoe polish and it had things in it, but one of the things it had in it was wax. It's fascinating watching. What they're now making homemade lip balm as well for sore lips, which was interesting because that's what I needed. <laughs> there we are. So, oh, brown paper, loving that. I'm just sort of making the background. Oh, lovely. You can add things, take things away. Don't use brown paper if you don't want to use it. Did you hear from the doctor, Beth, do you? Did they, do you need to sort of like chase them up? Or do they phone when they're out of um, the normal hours? Phone you back 
Brown paper, love that one. Right, what have we got now? Draw around your hand. That was a Mel, that was a Meljoy one. Draw around your hand. Hmm. I'm I'm asking, sorry, Meljoy. It's a great prompt. Some people might want to do that if they've got a big journal page. The, the third prompt is draw around your hand. I'm going to ask for an alternative. <laughs> I'm getting awkward today. I'm getting picky. <laughs> I want another hedgehog. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Right, what have I got? What have I got? Add circles. Look at we I thought we had that last week. Add circles. Did I put them back in? Because I'm a little bit discombobulated. Um I probably put them back in. I try I try not to, so you get different things. You can either draw around your hand or add circles. Now I'm going to get this is from this is my lovely ephemera from sorry, paint girly. And I know I've got some lovely circles on here. So I'm going to look through. Ooh, look at these. Gosh, lovely circles. Wow. Oh, I love that. It's just like a little tickety thing. Isn't that lovely? I'm going to do that. Add circles. Oh, lovely. Lovely. But of course, I do need to add a few snowy circles as well. <laughs> Straight in there. Loving that. <laughs> to waste it lovely <laughs> oh let me just show um oh you off for your walk now um are you going for your walk now barbara take care take care oh barbara i will um catch up with you and oh you're i might see you friday yes at the hop mm. If not, I will see you in other chats. It needs to focus on something again. It goes a bit fuzzy sometimes, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It doesn't know what to focus on down here because I've got it at such a silly angle because I'm just like that. Look at that, lovely. You're going to see. You're going to see a glimpse of the the messy room. Is it? Is it? Welcome to my messy desk. No, it's welcome to the messy room. <laughs> I'm getting paint all over me now. There you go. I'll just do that. Mm. You've got your Christmas glue book in the kitchen while you while you're playing. You so you're playing fetch and doing your Christmas glue book. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's great to do a bit of bit of crafting, isn't it? And I've added another circle here. Mm. Dress warm, Barbara. Yes, goodness. Gloves on. Mm. Oh, thank you. There we are. It's looking very snowy. <laughs> right. Do you want another one? Oh, add diamond shapes. Do you know? That's really interesting. Hmm. Okay. I thought we had diamond shapes last week, but that might be me. Let's cut up some diamond shapes and we'll need to cut up some hearts as well because we have to have hearts, don't we? <laughs> I'm going to take that off a little bit so I can look at this. I'm cheating now. Cheating. Just take that circle off. Don't put it on too hard and then I can layer up some things underneath. Let's cut something out in um a diamond shape and then desperately looking oh I can use this paper from I don't want to cut something up that's no those are all too nice to cut up I need some 
bits and pieces. Bits and pieces are in here. Oh, always plenty of bits and pieces. Oh, look. Oh, a map. Lovely. I should cut a diamond shape out of the map. And then, um, I've just looked at the next prompt. The next prompt would have been good. Underneath. Hmm. Everything. Oh, well, let's have a look. There we are. There. Just got a diamond shape there. That's what I'm going to do. You can doodle diamonds. There you go. So map. And of course, I go back and I add words and I doodle and hmm. oh, you really can see my messy room at this angle, can't you? There you go. Never mind. I'm keeping it real. Oh dear. I don't know. Let me see if I can get it a bit better. It just fall off otherwise. It's just oh gosh, it's very precarious. No, just leave it. No, leave it. <laughs> yeah, just leave it. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, yes, Beth did a, a, a make a rainbow, didn't you? A make a reindeer game. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Layer up stencils. Now, that was my idea because I did that thinking that is something I'd seen on someone's video. And I wanted to have a go. They layered stencils up. But I've got a feeling. Um, let me try it. Let me just try it. I've got a feeling it's probably. I've got too much on there, haven't I? I liked it when. Dixie, I know. It's best to keep it real, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yes. I mean, it's sometimes it's neater than this. Actually, it's got worse as the morning's gone on. <laughs> right, where did I put the roller? I've got the roller there. I've got some paint. Let me see if I can find my little stencils. I've seen someone do this, and I fancied having a go, so I made a prompt. Let's have a look. They I'm trying to think what they did now. I love this. I'm just going to experiment. Ooh, sorry, Mrs. Gigi. I'm just going to use Paddington Bear again. Oh, I just have to do that, don't I? That's it. Let's, let's wipe dear old Paddington. There you go. That's going to. Mm. <laughs> I bet your house, yeah, I can imagine all the art supplies you've got, Candy, dear, because you've been doing art all your life. And and you've got lots, haven't you, too, um, Beth? So I'm just going to do this. Oh, and it's got blue on it from the last time. Oh, blue and white. Oh, wow. So it pays not to clean your jelly plate because you get a nice colour. I'm loving that. Now. I'll get my lovely journal out that Laurie made me and just run off this paint on here. Lovely. Not to waste anything, to make a nice background. Lovely. And I think, what did they do? Why have I put layer up stencils? Did anyone else see a video where they layered up stencils? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it. Here's my little travel stencil thing. Just layer them up on top of one another, maybe. Interesting. Some of these are homemade stencils. And for any stencil that comes, you just layer them up. Interesting. There you go. There. I'll pop some paper on top of there, what's going to show up? I'm going to pop the 
brown bag on top of there. Let's see. I don't know whether we'll get anything. I think I think the paint might dry quite quickly. Oh, oh, that's going to be really nice. I need dark paper. Oh, mm -hmm. lovely. If I can get to that before it... Um, oh, how lovely. Oh, lovely. If I get to it before it dries up, I need dark paper. What have I got here? Oh, lovely. Flower paper. Let's pop that on the top. Let's see if I can get anything from that. Oh, hello, Angela. Adele, hey, Adele. Is Angela. Good morning. So nice that you caught, caught us live. That's really nice because I know... We quite often have a chat in the replay, in the comments, don't we? There we are. Let's pull that off. Ooh. Oh, lovely. So that's what you get when you layer up the stencil. How lovely. I just see someone do it, put lots and lots of stencils on the, um, on the jelly plate. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Very nice. So I am going to cut out, I've got quite all the different stencils on that. I'm going to cut out a nice wonky heart. Now, does anyone want an alternative for layer up stencils? Because um, you can't doodle layer up stencils, can you, Mary? And you might not want to layer up stencils at this stage, but I've just created myself some more painting paper that I can use later and that's lovely and I'm just going to put yeah I'm going to take this off look at me I need to take this off and put it a bit lower down I can do that because there are no rules <laughs> put that a bit lower down and let's put this lovely little wonky heart there because we have to have a wonky car heart hello willow so nice to see you welcome really lovely welcome we're just playing a, a little art game here and we're just getting very messy very messy indeed and the camera has sort of slipped down and down as the morning's gone on <laughs> there's aunt bex back oh you're making a fresh pot of coffee to go with strawberry tea. Oh, strawberry cheese Danish. That sounds lovely, Becky. Wow. Sounds delicious. Gosh. So, enjoy. And then this is just ready for you to doodle. Let's have one last prompt. And it is time. Oh, that prompt hasn't got anything on it. Sometimes I just put the the um nice card thing let me pick the last prompt i'm not looking honestly honestly trust me doesn't that sound yummy use security envelope well we have had that recently haven't we i think i must have put them some back in by mistake but still never mind hey ho hey ho hey ho let's give you a view of young freddy just before we go. And it's time to pop numbers in as well. So the last prompt is use security envelopes. <laughs> There's young already. I'll let you see him instead of looking at looking at the desk. Let's see if I've got some security envelopes here. Oh, I have actually. Look. First thing I can find in here. Lovely. Mm. Is Rebecca screaming at uh, streaming in a minute? Your mother-in-law was thrilled with the food. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah. You need to start doing it every few days. Oh, it's lovely. It's it is lovely to be cooked for, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Janet, dear. So I don't know what you're gonna doodle for security envelope, unless you just doodle little letters, um, Mary dear. Or ask me for another prompt if you're doodling. <laughs> I'm going to put some more hearts on with my security envelope. Oh, yes, popping numbers in. Lovely. I'm loving that. Mm. 
pop some numbers in and I, I'll send you a little happy mail. That would be lovely. There's Cat. You've been gently listening on oh, jotting down the prompts. Oh, Cat, that's lovely. It is. Do you know sometimes, because it chatting in the chat, you have to say hi to everybody. I, I get it. I really do. You just want to either relax or get on with the projects that you're doing. Mm. Put the number in for people that aren't here, people that have been here, people that are on our hearts. Put the number in and um, um, I will send some happy mail off. I'm just putting more hearts on here. There's little Freddie. Let's put the camera around a little bit more. It's all about Freddie now. <laughs> as I, as you pop numbers in the chat, and I'm just adding some little wonky hearts to my little prompt. I'm loving this. So yeah, pop some words and doodle on your on your prompts if you want to. Mm. Oh, well done. Mm coming in with some numbers and I, I'll get my phone. My phone hasn't rung, has it? It's really nice. It's been it's been really nice to have this little two hours with with you friends. It's been it's been a lovely time. Yeah. Let's do a random number. We finished putting numbers, Kimball is putting numbers in. That's lovely. Pop numbers in for yourself as well and for other people and mm. Mm. Oh, Chella, you're always having to do that, aren't you? That's really frustrating. Close your eyes a little minute, and I'm going to move the camera even more. I'm scared when I move it that I'm going to drop the. That's me. You can see me and Freddie. Freddie and I. There we are. Can you? And the streaming light. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Let me move back a little bit. You want to seal it, little Freddie, don't you? <laughs> oh, well done. You're still coming in with numbers. And here is my, it's my little, my little card I made. It's got a little bit of a, a snowy, festive feel to it. I think it needs some lovely, instead of gold, I think I might put some silver. I've got silver paint around the edges. Mm. Much better, yes, much better just to see Freddie. I know, Jill. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Gail. <laughs> Thanks, Dixie. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Janice. Goodness, there's nothing wrong with your memory, Janice. Goodness. It's a gingerbread little boy and a little gingerbread little girl holding hands. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Kathy. Right, let's do random.org. Random number, random number. And I will send you the little, little postcard. <laughs> There we are. There you go. Just agree to that. Oh dear, I have to work this out. We don't. All right, between one and a hundred. Yeah. Now generate the number. Are we ready? Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Thank you, dear. Ninety-three. <laughs> number ninety-three. Hmm. Let's see if I can find the silver. While, while we're waiting to see who has 93. I don't do, I, I just leave it to you guys, just to, you guys and dolls, to um, sort that out. I thought I had a silver here earlier, but it's got buried. The desk got progressively more cluttery, didn't it? <laughs> you need a week of Sundays to catch up. Yeah. Oh, it's hard for you, isn't it, Janice? Yeah, definitely. I bet you do. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You think Roy? Is it Roy? Dixie says she thinks it's Roy was nearest to um, 93. Was it Roy? 
I, I leave it to you, Roy. Yes, there you go. I will send the little Christmassy postcard to lovely Roy. <laughs> so it's probably time for Freddie and I to say goodbye. I'm I'm off back to High Wycombe tomorrow and Sam's going to join me Wednesday evening and Thursday to help me, which is lovely. And we'll travel back together. And I'll be seeing you during the live hop on Friday morning, early Friday morning and right through the morning through to the evening. And I will put a link to Mary's hashtag time for art live hop. Mm. Oh, well done, Roy. Yes, thank you. Ah, oh, thanks, Janet. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn and Dixie. Oh, thank you, Dixie. She's well now, yeah? Yeah, she's doing very well, thank you. Beth, sending love to you. Hope you get that too sorted out. Stay in touch, yes. Oh, thank you. I, Mary, I have enjoyed it so much, so much. I've enjoyed being here. Really been relaxing. Thank you. Oh, bye, Roy. Oh, bye, Ali. It's lovely. This is, it's our routine, isn't it? We just love it. Deb, bye. Thank you. And Rebecca. Oh, have a really good week, everybody. And Cheryl, stay safe. Candy and Willow and Anne. Oh, there's Kimberly. <laughs> oh, really nice to see you all. Don't let me forget anybody. And Janice at work and, and Alison. Oh. Really nice to see everybody. There's Aunt Bex. If you do get a chance, did you put in your Facebook group? Because I haven't been on Facebook a lot. Um, the pictures of your tops made from the Christmas fabric. I'd love to see them. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, thank you to the mods as well. Thank you. Thank you to all the gentle listeners to have you in the background with us. It means a lot. It means a lot. And I the people that gently listen to so I am thinking about you as you're gently listening and Becky Becky W and and Aunt Bex goodbye really nice it's been a lovely lovely it's been a lovely morning oh bye Cheryl dear oh it's so nice to see you oh really nice to see you all <laughs> Been so lucky, such a and bye, Angela dear. Mm. Oh, and Angie was here earlier. Bye, Dixie. <laughs> oh, bye, everybody. And little Freddie says goodbye too. <laughs> mm. There he is. Yes, bye, Gail and dear, and Gail T. Bye, everybody. Thanks for the idea for the pocket, Gail T. <laughs> A goodie and an old favourite, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, hi and bye, Miss Mary Berry. Oh, nice to see you. Look at you. Oh, nice to see you, Mary. Always nice to see you. Yeah. Cheers to little Freddie. <laughs> oh, that's nice that um to see you, <laughs> Mary. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>